Hello there everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod. We're playing as Serbia and last time around we managed to capture Bucharest from the Romanians. However, the army was highly depleted afterwards and I have been unable to quell the rebellious fever of the local population which has caused an outright revolt against uh, us, the Serbians, the new masters of the area. So we've got one full stack down here that spawned and then we have one from the north. Smaller one. Um, I can't see any artillery so it should be easy to take them out, possibly. I've also got the machine guns. Now, since the last campaign where um, machine guns really slaughtered everything They've gone ahead and nerfed those, so they're not as good as they used to be, but they're still good. So we're gonna go ahead and use the machine guns on the rebels. And um, also possibly defending against the Turks coming in. Up in the... No not really the north, in the west, we do have the Austrians finally actually moving down and striking, trying to take back Croatia. Which uh, I've been waiting for them to do. But I didn't really have the money or the resources to recruit troops to adequately defend it. We only had cavalry to uh, quell the, rebel <laughs> the rebellious fever of the population here as well. I was actually just about to march an army here. Which we've got a new general. Uh, Stepa, Step Stepa Stepa, we call him. Uh, Stepa Stepanovic. And he is marching to, uh, he was marching to uh, reinforce the region with a field gun, the old kind that fires shrapnel shot, two machine guns, and three units of infantry. Unfortunately, the Austrians were able to strike beforehand with an army of 12 units. Hopefully, I will get one more turn until the Austrians decide to strike so that I can actually go ahead and get this army to join the fight. And in so doing, I think we have a much greater chance of actually defeating the Austrian force here. You can see, uh, I think I told this probably in one of the uh, earlier videos, but now there's Royal Austrian Infantry, so they have specifically set out uh, which ones are Austrians and so on and there's a number of different ethnicities within the Austro-Hungarian Empire so um, Quite a few of those are actually represented in the game at this point or the mod I should say So that's what's going on also just remind everyone that uh, Spain also declared war on us They're not too unfriendly with us. I'm hoping I can turn this around so right now there it's total a minus of uh, 36. Cultural affinities seems odd. I don't think the Serbians are that culturally aligned with the Spanish. But I think this is actually done in a game way just to have... I guess through during a lot of playtests and stuff like that, they noticed that uh, Spain kind of would go ahead and declare war on the player uh, or whatever. Or maybe, I don't know why, but apparently we're cultural of Hind. Um So that only, even though war means minus 142, because we're so culturally aligned with Spain, that gives us plus 100. Anyways, there's not much to do right now. I just need to end turn. Before then, we should actually see... Now, my populations aren't that happy. Actually, here they're pretty happy. Thing is, it's going to take a while for this to turn around. And I'm kind of stuck here. I want to get the next barracks. We do have nations out here which we can trade. Like, Sweden has mass production. I want to see if I can get that. Yes, great. Uh, so now we have mass production. That's one of the requirements. We need sniping tactics. Um, what I need to open up to get this is, we've got mass production, we've got radio equipment, we need uh, petroleum 
acquisition, which is over here. There's certainly someone somewhere that has got that. I know the Brits have... Oh, the Brits have railroads. You can see if we can get that. How about Marxism, Socialism and War Bonds for railroad concentration? Um, it's an unfavorable trade, but the Brits do drive a hard bargain. No, they won't even... How about France? France, you usually very nice to me. Destroyers and... Okay, so I don't need any of that. Uh, who else? Kingdom of Italy. Do you have anything? Diesel engines. Plus movement range of the ships. And then 3 plus turn for town wealth. It's pretty good. I guess we could try and get that. No, they rejected. How about Ma Mother Russia? What do you have? Sniper scopes. Diesel engines. I'm interested in diesel engines. No, I guess I'll have to sweeten the deal with some money. The Scandinavian nations, though. Okay, Norway is not that clever. Uh, neither Denmark. And they've got no money either. So I can't really sell them technologies. But we've managed to get mass production. So what I need now is mass production. I need petroleum acquisition. But I also really want to have railroads. But at the same time, right now, we're not actually making that much per turn. 800, very low. So w let's save up the treasury instead and not waste it. We might need it if disaster strikes. Let's go ahead and end turn. See what the enemy has in store for us. Where they're going to attack. Without further ado, let's advance from late February of 1950. We have the end turn right here. Enemy has raided the stables over here. They've not gone ahead and attacked us, but they are moving closer. And they will attack them from both sides. It gave us time to replenish a lot of units, so we're almost at full strength. We have two more cannons being recruited in Serbia. Brings down the total income per turn to 362, which isn't great. If I lose... Ah, yes, we got the, the storehouse, the depot. So that should increase the resupply rate quite well in the Romanian region. We'll be able to replenish our troops. It looks as though the Austrians then won't be able to um, commence their attack. Which means that Stepa Stepanovic can go ahead and strike. And uh, we can go ahead and defeat them. So it's all Austrian Austrians. Royal Austrians. German ones. Ah, they're limited as well. 35 of them. Right, so they have 2,000 men. We have about... What do we have? We have similar numbers. The thing though, our numbers are heavily dependent upon the home guard. Which isn't that great. Uh, the accuracy of the Austrian troops are almost twice as high with an accuracy of 58 compared to the home guard which has 30. We have a slight cavalry advantage I would say. But cavalry isn't gonna win the day I don't think. It's gonna be down to the machine guns and the artillery. Stepa Stepanovic comes in from the flank. Uh, Herman needs to redeploy to face us. We'll be able to strike him from two sides. Hopefully, it's going to be down to step out to hold the line until the reinforcement arrives. Cavalry will arrive quickly. We'll be able to hopefully swing around, hit some of these units in the back while they're commencing the attack against the machine guns and the position which Stepa has set up. But enough talk. We need war, and we need it now. So without further ado, let's draw into battle. Not many units to deploy, so it went rather quickly for me. 
I've set up the artillery piece right here to be able to blast the oncoming enemy. Then we've got kind of a nice little hill here where I've set up my machine guns. So we've got eight Maxim machine guns ready to tear up the Austrians as they advance upon us. Very, very nice. Uh, I've decided to deploy the infantry in the forests on either side. Now it would be nice if I could actually get a flat wall against the enemy. So I could have set the troops up behind that. But there isn't one, so I put them in the forest. With that said, let's go ahead and start the battle. Yes, that sounds like a great plan. Let's see, where... Here we've got the uh, the range. The cavalry is going to move into it pretty soon. It's a slow advance of the Austrian troops. Go ahead and take a look at these. Are oh, the ro normal Royal Austrians. There's light infantry there somewhere. We should actually... S spot them. Or maybe not now, in fact. They'll probably be hidden. Okay, the cavalry is now coming within artillery range. So we got their uh, dragoons marching forward here. About to get blown into pieces. We've got their hussars over on the side here. Already lost 20 men. Ah, now our cavalry is coming in. Coming down the road here. We should set it up so that we are able to flank the enemy with a sort of a cavalry charge coming in. Um, oh, they have set it up so you can actually dismount the dragoons now. Before, I think you could only dismount the mounted infantry. We're going to send the armed populace. In column towards the line where Steppa is setting up. The machine guns have range just kind of shy of the uh, shy of the road there. Might be that the enemy hussars are actually going to get torn down long before that. I'm actually going to go ahead and target. The enemy, ooh, that was a nice shot. And now the infantry open fire upon them. The troops that are left. They did manage to shoot two of us. But the entire unit got slaughtered. We're going to destroy the second unit. Now we've got three armed populace moving in. Given how the enemy wa just wasted their cavalry. I uh, think that they... Um, they might very well... It might uh, I might not even need the reinforcements. We'll see. So the village kind of splits their armed forces. I could send the villagers to stop the advance of these troops lightening the load on the troops that are, will be attacking here what we could do is we could take two of them and we could rush towards the houses over here oh no that's what I should have done with the dragoons I should have rushed the houses now they're rushing forward the Austrians here's the light infantry you can see they're slightly more spread out than the others. Given that they're running, I can't really show you the difference in uniform. And there the dragoons ran into our infantry. I'm holding the machine guns right now from firing. We should do a slow advance of the cavalry. Okay, so I've got five of those armed populace. Should set up behind the enemy. Kind of take the houses. Should be fine. Um, concentration of troops. Let's hit the center with the artillery. 
Because we're charging up here. Gonna get both of these houses. These three. It's probably best if we just send them up here. And they've tried to flank and hold up part of the uh, advance of the enemy. And then the cavalry will strike kind of through here and into the back. Gotta make sure though that we um, hold the fire of the um, machine guns when we strike with the cavalry. So two hussars, one dragoon. Okay, they were in range of machine guns. Let it rip! Currently the machine guns are targeting kind of this area, so you can tell that it's definitely not as uh, devastating as it was in previous versions. Still pretty devastating though. You guys need to come even closer to be able to stop the enemy. Oh, the enemy general rode in to uh, the, um, the field of fire as it were. Did not tell you the, the dragoons to run into position. Okay, the machine guns coming under fire. I want to see if I can target this side with the hussars. Machine guns face those two. These two are the ones I'm going to hit with the hussars. Has hold fire, so they'll fire once they get over the hill. Fire! Charge! For victory! We took the enemy by surprise. Everyone move forward. One unit though, one of the cavalry units got Heavily depleted by machine guns. Aim for the units. Over on our right, the Hussars. Cutting the enemy down. Kind of continuing through her. I'm going to tell them just to chase. Dragoons move up. And then the armed populace joins in. Here's a remnant unit of the other Hussars. They lost about half. They rallied though. The Hussars closing in here, firing up the flank of the Austrian unit. It's broken. Machine guns. Concentrate over here. Actually, hold fire at this point. Same with the artillery. Hold fire. The Austrians are broken. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. I want a general advance. Hold fire for the Dragoons. Chase down the Austrians. And with that, we remain in control of Croatia. The Austrians ran into the new devastating warfare of machine guns. We lost, I think, one crew guy over here. If the... I think if the Austrians did... Uh, if they had... Oh, there's an Austrian running right there. If the Austrians had concentrated the fire on these guys, they would have uh, devastated them. The thing that I might think in the future to do is have the infantry closer um, and possibly a little bit more forward so we kind of match the range so the machine guns fired at roughly at that point. Luckily for me they didn't really shoot down my machine guns but there we have it. The Austrian army got routed. I don't even see really any major Austrian troop formations. 
even leaving the field here. They're all kind of cut down. So most of them will be gone, which is good. There we have it. Let's go back to the campaign map, shall we? A most decisive victory for us. We deployed 1800 men against 2000 of against 2000 of the enemy. The enemy lost 1700 while we only lost 200 men. Only 267 out of the enemy army survives. Highest kill counts goes to the cavalry. Followed by machine gun, field artillery and machine gun. So a crew of 12 men was able to shoot down 317. Pretty darn good. Austrian army remains in the region. They could definitely move to burn the town over here. So I might... I might want to chase them down. Thing is there are three cavalry units against all those troops. I'm not sure if that would be wise, but at the same time it would be expensive to leave the town unprotected. I do have uh, the port protected. God damn it. It's because I've set the... Um, I've set the camera to be able to show really close and really far away. And when you do that, you kind of have to lock the, uh, the, f the p file so you can't uh, edit it, which means that every time I need to reset some settings. So I should probably just reset those settings, set it so that I can actually re change the f that it actually changes the file from time to time from from this point forward. So I don't have to always click off those bastards. But that's good. We took this. Um, I'm not going to waste money on barracks here. Because we're not making that... Oh, now we're making money. Now when we got control back or the um, Sagrib is no longer under siege, we went from 300 per turn to 2,000. But I want to wait so I can spend the money on railroads. Because railroads going to cost 2,000 here. It's going to cost 2,000 here and it's going to cost 2,000 here. So 6,000. That's a lot. Also might want to build this one up for 1600. We need to repair the farm here for 300. So yeah, there are a lot of expenses. However, with that said, we're going to end it right here. Next time around, we'll go ahead and focus on this. As I hope that they will strike. Or what I might do is strike out. The thing though is I'm not entirely sure if I strike out that we will. What I could do is strike out with just doesn't seem like they have a very long marching capability so if I march out here will I have t will I will I be able to get back in time to deal with this one obviously it would be better to strike out and deal with one of the armies before the other one comes but we'll see that in the next episode so, as always, hopefully, you guys enjoy this, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!